neighborhood update, a lot of my base game sims got pregnant. So I aged up all of the kids and made them fight each other until only one kid was the official winner. I drowned all of the losing kids, eight dead kids in total, and then later married the winner to Vladdy. In The Sims 3, I built glass cages and kidnapped the townies to make a sim zoo. In college, I made a household with eight copies of my boyfriend at the time. Whenever I got mad at him, I'd go set one of the copies on fire. When the house was empty, I'd add more copies. He eventually found out, but just thought it was hilarious. If somebody else says it, then I'm not saying it. You all know what I mean. Honestly, Thomas, I have no fucking idea what you mean, and I don't like that. I see my sims naked when they shower. I, uh, employed sims in the basement and made them do all the cleaning and cooking so my main sim could focus on themselves. One of my toddler twins was taken away for hunger, and I neglected the other twin after so that she could be taken away just so I could make the parents give birth to another set of twins. I just wanted twins. In The Sims 3, I once made a vampire and three human sims. I locked the humans in a cell in the basement behind secret doors, made them unaware of the other's existence, and turned them into the vampire's live-in blood bags. They all shared one pizza a day. Instead of going to therapy to talk about my shitty ex, I made him on The Sims and trapped him in a little glass box in my sims house and used him as a sadistic little decoration until he died. I was a casual sims player until I found the extreme violence mod, and now I don't know how to play the game without role-playing as a serial killer constantly. I forgot to mark my sims as step-siblings and found them going at it on their parents' bed and let the sister stay pregnant for plot value. I live-streamed The Sims 2 for its 15th anniversary, and I was feeling kind of weird that day. I made a sim and sent him to university, and he fell in love with this guy in the frat house. Turns out he had a girlfriend, so I boarded her up in the frat house walls for three days. The babysitter stole my sim's newborn once, and I hunted them down, found the sim, and made them swim until the Grim Reaper showed up. I held up my sim's principal hostage because she expelled me from high school. Summer Holiday decided she wanted to be a homewrecker and flirted with my sim, who was married, by the way, so I ruined her life. I knew she had a thing with Scott and was rivals with her roommate Liberty for his affections, so I locked them in a 4x4 room surrounded by windows and forced her to watch them flirt, propose, get married, and raise their children. I wanted her to suffer and see the life she could have had. Normally, I don't play pre-made families, but I made an exception. Once, my sim's family's butler caught on fire doing the laundry. The cats, who were designed to look like red pandas, freaked out about it, just ran in circles at his feet, screaming, and I couldn't stop laughing about it long enough to get the butler out of harm's way. One of my friends and I made three sims, trapped them in different rooms of their house, then just watched to see who'd die first. We also bought a cake and put it behind a glass wall for them to look at. We also put a glass wall around a puddle of pee to shame them. It was fun. I once got this man to paint his wife woohooing with a man, and because he was so into it, he wasn't upset. I made this guy make two plum bots in The Sims 3, and I made them get married and adopt a kid. I checked their family tree, and the plum bots are listed as siblings and spouses, so their family tree just looks like a circle now. I have given all of my Sims lightsabers, and because Sims will autonomously duel each other constantly, I'd place bets on who would beat who. I then take the loser and eliminate them as punishment until one remained. It's like the Hunger Games, but worse and with space swords. Bob Pancakes was the one and only reason I downloaded Wicked Whims. Now I play strictly vanilla to not relapse in every new save. One time when I was like middle school aged, I was wanting to create a spooky house with a ton of graves in the yard. I figured out the most effective way to do this was to make an eight sim household and make them all go into a room where I delete the doors. There was a fireworks launcher thing in the middle of the room and eventually somebody would go over to it and set it off. Hilariously, the other sims would be like, ooh, and watch the fireworks while clapping until several fireballs came back down, soon killing them all. I used The Sims to make myself and live a better life. The Sims 2 first woohoo cutscenes were my sexual awakening. I downloaded a special mod so my peasant Sims can't read. I killed a mother of my toddler Sim just because I wanted her to be an orphan for the storyline. Last night, I made a family. The dad was surprisingly hot, but the mom lacked, so I killed her for a few reasons. One, storyline. Two, add her tombstone to the graveyard lot. And three, make a better looking stepmom. My vampire legacy was inbred. I decided they considered themselves to be royalty, so cousins would marry and stuff, but never more than the game naturally allows. After 10 generations, I couldn't even figure out how they were all related. I used Vlad or my vampire sims to anger bomb everyone in the bar, and they eventually died from a cardiac explosion. I had my sim join the detective career, and when she got to work, I killed every pig, then the sim. For a suspiciously long period of my life, I used the Wicked Whims mod as my source of- <laughs>
So yeah, I might have <laughs> while Bob was banging Eliza against the monkey bars. One time I burned a toddler's entire family before his eyes. Actually, I did that more than once as well. Another time I locked a toddler inside of a room with a bunch of windows on all sides so his family could see him and helplessly watched as he pooped himself over and over. I killed my sim so I could save up money. I genocided the entire college town in The Sims 3. I had a female sim and one time another sim was rude to me after friendly introduction. I then woohooed every member of their family and had all of their babies, which I transferred back into their family and visited every so often just to see the house completely turned to crap. One time I did use the mod Wicked Whims and I don't know why the father started flirting with his sons. I made a male sim make every adult pre-made sim in The Sims 4 pregnant. No exception. 105 kids was the result. I downloaded Wicked Whims at 11 because I thought it'd be fun and not knowing what incest was because English is not my first language, I gave my sims the traits. Moral of the story, the son fucked his mom. Trigger warning for cartoon gore. The minute I stumbled on Necrodog's guillotine mod, I downloaded it just so I could use it on Reginald Hardgreaves. When I played The Sims 3, I would always get a female pregnant, kill off her male partner before the baby is born, and when the child would age up to a teen, I would drown the mother. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, but imagine watching this video one more time, but pretending it isn't about The Sims. Bye.